Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can control Matrix remotely with a Gira Home Server 4. As task, we have to control Matrix 5 remotely via HTTP commands, which are sent from the Gira Home Server 4. We have to control three different functions inside of Matrix. We want to change the queue list with a queue list go command. We want to enable or disable the blackout. And we want to change the master value. Now let us start. In Matrix, we have to enable the HTTP control via preferences, remote control, HTTP. Now we need to enable it and we can see all available network interface cards. We choose one of them and select call. In the Matrix remote members, we can find the list of all available Matrix remote controls via HTTP. Now we will switch to the Gira home server expert 4. We assume everything is configured correctly. That means the project was already created and the user was assigned and so on. So we only will have a look how to create the remote control via HTTP from Gira to Matrix. In the first step, we will open the communication objects, create a new folder, we call it Matrix. In the next step, we will create our objects according to the task. That means the first one we will call QList Go. This is a one bit switch and we have to change only the KNX group address. It's a three dimensional, that's why it's one, one, one in our example. Now the next one, we call it black out. It is also a switch and the group address is one, one, two. And as last communication object, it is the master. This will be an 8 bit 255 steps. And the group address will be assigned to 113. After we have done this, we close it. In the next step, we want to add the HTTP remote control commands. And therefore, we open the web page IP devices. We add a new folder and call it Matrix. In this folder, we will add our different remote commands. The first one will be the queue list next command. The IP address is the IP address of the Matrix PC and it is 10.0.0.49 and port 80 in this example. As remote command, we will use the remote command from the command list of the Matrix PC. In this example, we will use the set list go command. We can select it and now we will copy it from the address line of our PC. Now back at the home server expert, we can paste this command as URL for the send HTTP call. In the next step, we will add the next command. This command will be responsible for the blackout, so we call it blackout. The IP address is still the IP address of the Matrix PC and the port is also still port number 80. Now we have to send the HTTP call as text block because with this command we want to enable and disable the blackout. Therefore we add 
a text command. The text will start with a get and then we will search for the desired command inside of the remote command list. We search for set blackout. And again, we copy this part of the command and paste it in the home server expert. The next step, we add here a communication object. It's the blackout communication object. And then we click OK. We add this command because of with the set blackout command, we want to enable or disable the blackout. Now we have to close this HTTP call with a normal text. And this text is called HTTP slash 1.1 and we add a carriage return and a line feed. Now we add the requested host, a carriage return and a line feed. And again a carriage return and a line feed. As last command, we will add the master command. So we want to control the values of the output master. Again, the IP address and port of the matrix PC. Also there, we have to use the text block and we will type in again, get, and again, we are searching for the correct command in the list of all matrix remote commands. We copy it and then we paste it in the Gira expertive. We add now again the communication object. This will be the master object. We will close with a text block again HTTP slash one bot dot one and a carriage return and a line feed and again the requested host, a carriage return and a line feed, and again a carriage return and a line feed. That's it for this section. In the third step of the Gira configuration, we have to assign the logic. That means Gira needs to know which input command has to pass to which output command. Therefore, we open the graphic logic editor. In the logic editor, we add a new object. And now we will add all commands of the inbox. And also all output commands. Here we have to select the IPKNX and then we want to add the desired commands. Now we have to add a logic trigger. So we will use a binary trigger for every command. That means at the end we have to add three binary triggers. And we have to assign the input with the desired output.
After we have done this, we can also close the logic editor. In the last step, we have to create the quad client configuration. Also, for this configuration we assume the building structure was already created and also a user was already assigned so we only will take care about how to assign the information to control matrix remotely so here we already have a matrix remote and inside a matrix room we want to add a button plus this button plus we call queue list. Go and then we have to assign the desired object. In our case, it will be the KNX matrix queue list go object. And we can change the color of this button. And of course, also the text. In the next step, we add a switch plus object. And we call this black out. In our case, we have to assign again the KNX communication object for blackout and also the status object will be the same. We will change the colors for blackout on and off. and also the text of the button. As last one, we want to add another object and now we will use the audio volume object to control the master in matrix. And we call this one dimmer. We change the symbol. And now we also need to assign the desired KNX communication object. And we call it dimmer. We will check the project and if no issues are here so we can save and close the quad client. Now we are able to transfer the settings to our home server. So the project needs to be transferred. Also here we assume all configurations are already done and we only start to upload the project. Let us test. We have an iPad with the Gira home server app to test the communication. Please note the iPad, the Gira home server and also Matrix needs to be assigned to the same network to communicate under each other. At the iPad we can now see our configuration at the Gira home server app. If we want to control the QList go command we can see in Matrix the QList will go to the next one. With the blackout button we enable or disable blackout and we can change the master value. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.